Hi lovies, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jenilyn. And I'm Jillian. We're identical twins. And, and this, this is Twin Spin. It's our spin on all things health, beauty, and fitness. And today we're gonna to share with you our non-toxic makeup routine for every day. Yes, and we're gonna be sharing some of our favorite beauty counter products with you that have become a part of our daily routine. So please subscribe to our channel and we're gonna start. So we'll go through each of our products here and kind of tell you what we love about them. Perfect. So since we just got back from Florida, Jenna and I have been peeling just like a little bit here and there. So moisturizers become our favorite product. And right now we're using this beauty counter one. It's Counter Match Adaptive Moisturizing Lotion. And you only need a little bit. So I just usually take one pump here and just pump it right on my hand. I'm gonna do it for Jenna too. And then you're just gonna rub it in on your face. Usually we hit all the spots, forehead, chin, cheeks, and then kind of just rub in from there. And sometimes we need extra. We also use it as a primer too. It helps your makeup go on smoothly. Um, we also are loving this brightening vitamin C number one facial oil, again from Beauty Counter. And usually use about four to six drops. You can either mix it in with the moisture lotion or you can just do it after. And it smells so good. It's seriously great for the warmer weather. I love how it feels on my face. Just putting it on my skin feels smoother. Definitely, and it smells like clementines or oranges. Really good. Okay, so once we have the moisture on and everything's rubbed in, our next product is been a long time favorite. It's called Dew Skin and it is a tinted moisturizer. It also has SPF 20. So we wear this product every day, whether we're in the sun, working out, or under our makeup for every day as well. Sometimes I don't wear full face, but this is one product that I do wear every day, even if I don't put on makeup for that day. Like Jill said, if we're just working out. Right, so again, same thing, just pump it onto your hand. This product lasts a long time as well. I bought our first one, I think last June, and it lasted me all the way until April. I just bought a new one, so. You one really pump. don't need a lot, just a little goes a long way. And it rubs in very nice with just your fingertip. There are different colors to match your skin. We're wearing number three, um, but sometimes I say in the winter, we could be close to number two. You can always mix them, but this one is a number three and the shade is sand. So once we got that on, we're gonna show you our next favorite. It is called Tin Skin. So I'd say that the Dew Skin is a lighter coverage. I'd say Tint Skin is about medium coverage. This is your hydrating foundation, again, from Beauty Counter. Um, we do the same thing, but for this one, we're gonna apply with a beauty blender. So I just put it on my hand and on Jen's. Take it and kind of dab it on. And you can also get those spots that you have acne or anything that you need to cover up a little bit more. And then you're just gonna rub it in from there. We're gonna show you the Beauty Counter Concealer. It looks like this, and it is a clickable pen, which took a little bit of while to get used to. We are using medium one. So it typically takes about one click and then you kind of have to wait a second and use gravity to assist the foundation to come out and then you're just gonna draw where you need it. So I might do one more click so I can get a little bit more coverage. And I like to use my concealer a little bit on my eyes as a primer before eyeshadow. So whatever you like to use. Next, we're gonna show you our brows and we're using two products right now. This one's called Eco Brow um, and it comes with this. So I like to start with the pomade first and then go back over with the Beauty Counter Gel. So what I do is I typically just kind of brush all of my eyebrows up on an angle and then I'm gonna use this right here and kind of make that arch, same thing on this side. And then you're just gonna keep combing it up towards the line here and then all the way down. Same thing on this side, make sure you're filling it in in that stroke. And then my eyebrows are a little bit sparse on the corners, so I like to hit that up too. And then I use this side to kind of like blend it over. And then I'm gonna pass it to Jen. And I'm gonna show you the Beauty Counter Gel that is a new product that we love. It's in medium and it's a brow gel. And this just keeps everything in place. Sometimes we have those crazy curls or, and I kind of just comb it over again. 
So it's got a little bit of color, but not too much. We like to keep the natural look. A lot of people get worried when they try out brow gel or even anything with doing their brows that they're gonna mess up. But I think both of these products are really forgiving and easy to blend in. So now that our brows are done, we, I like to go into the eyeshadow now. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you our favorite palette. It is the classic eyeshadow palette um, from Beauty Counter. And I'm gonna show you some of the colors. They're really beautiful. I'm just gonna keep it really light and natural. So typically I start with ivory and we'll do an all over base, focusing on the corners. I'll just do it all over the lid, but mostly in the corners because that's where I want it to be the brightest. And then I'm gonna go in with suede and sienna and do this right in the crease, just lightly here. Keeping it really light again, this is just for day, just kind of every day. And then I'm just gonna darken the corners up a little bit. So I'm gonna use cinnamon and burnished and just a little bit making that V. And then I'm gonna go over it um, without putting anything on the brush and just blend it in right in the crease. Really blending it in well helps it to look more natural and not as streaky. And it's nice that this palette is very blendable, so you can always go over it and blend it more to make it look more finished. And yep. And lastly, sometimes I add a little bit of copper just for some glitter and just press it right onto the lid. And it really stays nice too. You're not gonna have sparkles all over your face. You can always make it deeper or darker the more that you add with the colors, but we're just keeping it basic for today. Now, if you want to, you can add liquid eyeliner. This is Beauty Counters. Um, I'm just gonna add it, but I'm gonna make it super thin. Sometimes we don't wear eyeliner just because of our eye shape. It makes it look kind of small. I'm just gonna go in and make a super thin line from the middle to the end. If you wanna see a more glammed up version of this eyeshadow tutorial, check out our Instagram. It's at Jenna Lynn and Jillian, and it's gonna be saved in the highlights reel at the top. So you can see Cassandra did an amazing job at doing our eyeshadow for more of a night glam. So now it's time for bronzer. So you can bronze our face up a little bit. We use Tristel Minerals. It is a powder formula, so you kind of have to be careful opening it. You just need a little bit, and then I always tap the side. I'm just using a little bit here, and I sometimes blow on it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then the key is to blend it. I usually start with the cheeks. And I do the forehead, just windshield wiping back and forth here. And then bringing it into the bridge of your nose. And then lastly, one more tap. Getting the chin here and then blending it up through each cheek. You can always add more, but it's always better to start lighter so you don't have that weird two-tone with your face and your neck. Yeah, I'd say this bronzer definitely is buildable. You can keep adding to it and make it a darker look depending on your skin tone. Okay, so I like to use this primer. It's similar to the Lancome brand and it helps make your lashes a little bit longer if you prime it with this first. So you want your lashes to be completely white. All of the lashes coated. Then we're gonna come in with Beauty Counters Lengthening Mascara. We'd say it's similar to L'Oreal's Telescopic. So it has a really small wand. It's very thin, which is good for smaller eyes. Also just getting that length and then for the lower lash line. So we also have Beauty Counters Volumizing Mascara. Just looks like this, it's a bigger wand. They both were good, it just depends on the look that you want to achieve. I like to put this one on first and then go over with volumizing at the end. On to blush. So we just got this awesome new cream stick blush that I think is great for every day and it's also a beauty counter. 
There's three different shades. The shade that we got is caramel. I thought it was really fun and peachy for summer. So if you go to our highlights too, Cassandra did an awesome job showing how she uses the cream blush and highlighter for making that highlighter contoured look. Very this, glowy. Yes, and this is just for every day. So I kind of just put it I'm gonna go with the regular beauty counter blush. This shade is called a date and it's our favorite. So you just use an angled blush brush. I always smile and I put it through the cheekbones. I'm just rubbing this blush in with my hands to get that natural tan under my cheeks. But yes, that date color is beautiful. So you can kind of compare the cream with the powder. Definitely a little bit more of like that peachy glow. Okay. And lastly, we're gonna set the look with our setting powder. We found this Maybelline brand from Target and it's still a more natural product using our apps that we talked about during our last video. We did a whole video on using apps to find natural beauty and this is one of the, the products that we found on the apps. Yes, so it's definitely rated low and it's a more natural option. We were using Laura Mercier before and when that product ran out, we wanted to find a more natural option and Maybelline was. It's definitely cheaper too. So just something you like to set your makeup with. Although we are dry right now from Florida, typically we're pretty um, oily and greasy along the T-zone. So I kind of just tap it here and under eyes and then just rub it in. This helps complete your look and also blend it in more and then keep it from getting oily throughout the day. Okay, and now for our lip, we're gonna definitely go with something more natural. We just picked up this Transformation Duo. It's from Beauty Counter. They're running a sale on it right now for Mother's Day. I love this. Um, it's definitely an everyday lipstick color. This is their Lip Sheer. Um, so just gonna go across. It's a perfect color for spring and also very light if you're not a lipstick wearer like me. And then there's also, this is the gloss that goes right over it, which I'm a huge gloss girl. But if you wanna check out some of their other lipstick colors, Beauty Counter has an awesome line for lipstick. It's minty, it's refreshing. We're gonna have it in our highlight reel as well with Cassandra, where it's a little bit more darker color, um, dramatic look. All right, so this is our completed look. Yep, yeah. and then to set it, we're going to use the number three balancing and charcoal from Beauty Counter. It smells so good. This is a staple for us. So shake it up, you kind of just spray it, close your eyes. I use like five or six sprays. I'll do Jenna too, she wants me to. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, so this is the completed natural look. So we love it because we don't like to feel cakey or like we're wearing a lot of makeup, but again, still wanna have that coverage and highlight some of those cheekbones, eyeshadow, lips. I also want to mention that since we started using these more natural products, um, we always struggle with acne and it kind of has helped us more than anything to get rid of that acne. And Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our makeup routine vlog. We post videos every Tuesday for Twin Spin Tuesday and we hope to see you in the next one. So stay tuned. Bye, Bye for now. now.